In this video, we are going to talk about how to detect faces and draw face mesh using the MediaPy package in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. But before going further, remember that in previous videos, we have talked about how to read from webcam or let's say a stream from webcam. So if you're not familiar with these lines, you can check that video, which there is a link in the description below. So now if I run the code, you can see I can stream from my webcam properly. So first of all, we should import the MediaPy package. So I import MediaPy as MP. Then I simply type mp.solutions because this MediaPy provides you a couple of solutions for different stuff, for example, for face detection, for face mesh detection, and etc. So I simply type mp.solutions. And from those solutions, I want to use the face mesh solution. That's it. And I store that in a variable, let's say called mp underscore face underscore mesh there it is and because we need to draw some stuff on our image so i simply type mp dot solutions dot drawing utilities and i stored that in a variable let's say called mp drawing and also because i want to use some default styles in media pipe so i simply type mp dot solutions dot drawing styles and I stored that in a variable, let's say called MP drawing style. So that's it. So now I want to apply the face mesh model on our image, which we have on our image, or let's say our frame, which we have streamed, or let's say, which we have read from our webcam. So here we want to apply face mesh model using the media pipe package. And now in order to do so, we simply type MP underscore face mesh, which is this variable, which we have defined here. And then I simply use the face mesh function. And I should pass an argument called refine landmarks. And because you want to refine the landmarks, we should pass true. And you will see what do I mean by refining landmarks by the end of the video. So please wait a minute. So from the MP underscore face underscore mesh, we are calling the face mesh function and we are passing this argument, which I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video, by the end of the video, let's say. And then I want to process the image. So I want to pass this image to this model in order to process and detect the landmarks and do other stuff. But remember that the OpenCV package doesn't use the RGB system. It uses the BGR system, means blue, green, and red. But a lot of packages like MediaPipe uses the RGB system, not BGR system. So OpenCV uses BGR, but MediaPipe uses RGB. So we should convert these two systems in order to get proper results. So we should convert them first, and then we should pass that to the face mesh model. That's it. So I simply use CV2, which is that open CV package, and I use CVT color, which stands for convert color, and the source image, the source image is our image, which you can see here. And then we are going to use cv2.color bgr to rgb. You want to convert bgr, which is the OpenCV system, to rgb, which is the face mesh system, the media pipe system. So I stored that in a variable, let's say called image. So as a matter of fact, I'm updating the image. And now we don't have any problems because you are passing an image with RGB system to media pipe. And now after applying the face mesh model, we want to draw annotations on our image. But remember, from now on to the rest of the video, we are going to use the OpenCV package in order to show the image and etc. So as a matter of fact, we are going to work with the OpenCV package. And the OpenCV system is BGR, not RGB. So as you can see, we have converted BGR to RGB in order to pass our image to the media pipe package. But from now on, we are, we are going to use the BGR system. So again, we should convert that to the BGR because from now on, we are going to use the OpenCV package. So we should, we should restore that to the BGR system. So that's it. So I can copy this and paste it here. But the system, the conversion that we are going to use is RGB is RGB to BGR. So that's it. And before going further, let's restore the results of this line in a variable, let's say called results. So after applying the face mesh model on our image, then we are going to store the results in a variable, let's say called results. Then we want to say if 
if there is any face in the image, I mean, if any face have been detected, then we are going to draw annotations on the image. So we simply type if results dot multi underscore face landmarks, then we want to loop over each face. So we simply type for every face landmark for every face landmarks. So for every face landmarks in results dot multi face landmarks and results dot multi face landmarks then i'm going to draw annotations and now we want to draw a couple of stuff the first thing is we want to draw the irises so let's do that so i simply type mp underscore drawing because we have to find this variable here so i simply type mp underscore drawing dot draw landmarks because we want to draw some landmarks on our image and our image so our image is the image variable which we have defined above and then we are going to use other stuff so here i should pass the landmark list so the landmark list is our face landmarks there it is and now we want to tell the media pipe that we want to connect the irises so the connections that we want to build is mp underscore face mesh dot face underscore irises so this mp underscore face mesh is this variable which we had to find here and we want to connect the face mesh irises now then we are going to add other stuff but now for now we want to connect the face mesh irises landmarks there it is and also we want to pass another argument which is landmark drawing specifications which i'm going to pass none and you will see what do I mean by landmark drawing specifications if you wait a minute because after running the code I will show you what do I mean by landmark and then you will see that what do I mean by landmark drawing specifications that's it and now we want to pass connection drawing specifications connection drawing specifications I want to use the default specifications the default style in the media pipe so I simply use this variable which we have defined here, mp underscore drawing styles, mp underscore drawing styles. And because I want to connect the irises, I want to get default face mesh iris connections style. So that's it. And now if I run the code, now you can see it works properly. But now let's talk about what do I mean by landmark drawing specifications, which I have passed none. For example, suppose that I want to pass a red color to landmark drawing specifications. So in order to do so, I use this variable, which we have defined here, mp underscore drawing. So here I simply, I simply use that variable, mp underscore drawing, and I want to use the drawing specifications function. And I, for example, I want to pass the red color. So I simply type color is equal to and I pass the red color 0, 0, 255. So now if I run the code, you can see these are the landmarks. And this is the reason that I pass none because we don't want to have all that landmarks on the screen. So I pass none to the landmark drawing specifications. And also I want to draw other stuff. So let's copy these lines and let's paste them here. So also I want to draw face underscore contours, face mesh underscore contours. And now the style that I want to get is get the default face mesh contours style. So if I run the code, you can see the contour and the irises. And also now let's add another thing called tessellation which you will find out what do I mean by tessellation after running the code. So here I simply pass face mesh underscore tessellation. And here I want to get the default style for tessellation. So get default face mesh tessellation style. So now if I run the code, you can see we have contour, tessellation and irises. And if you want, you can change the order, for example, to make the irises more apparent. So let's Put them in the last and also the contours after the tessellation so now if i run the code you can see now the 
irises and also the contour is more apparent, more visible. And finally, let's talk about this argument, refine landmarks, which we have passed through. So if I remove this and if I run the code, you can see we get this error. It says value error, landmark index is out of range, invalid connection from landmark number 475 to landmark 476. So remember that you should pass refine landmarks equals to true in order to get rid of this error. And remember that this face mesh function has other arguments as well. For example, it has an argument called maximum number faces, which its default value is one. But if you want to detect more faces, you can change the maximum number of faces to two, three, and etc. And also, as we have discussed in the face detection video, you can see that it has other arguments like minimum detection confidence and minimum tracking confidence, which if you choose a higher value, the model will be more strict. So for example, if you choose 0.70, then the model would be more strict in detecting the faces. And if you pass 0.7 for the minimum tracking confidence, then it is going to be more strict in tracking.